about riding in the Cairngorms is, I guess, just you just never know what you're going to get. The, the weather can shift. It's just really exciting to to ride here because every time is different. It is the best of Scotland. It's wild and still, but still accessible. Um, and you just get these amazing sweeping weather patterns coming in, and the light is incredible. But the the surface, you know, the riding surface is usually really good, so you can really penetrate the mountains and really feel as if you're in these kind of wild, free places. It's the thing with Scotland, you just never know what's going to be thrown at you. Because I've checked the forecast in the morning and checked the, fo the forecast for that height and it wasn't forecast for snow. But that's why you need to be prepared. When you're out in the hills and it is cold and it is wet, knowing that that's where your, your destination is, yeah, it helps tremendously to motivate you to keep going. And it, it allows you to enjoy the ride more because although you know you might not be able to feel your feet, you appreciate getting there all the more because of what you've been through to get there. So it just it adds to the whole experience. Was based from my lodge, National Trust Scotland property, and we explored a lot of the the like lower trails that exist around that area. Um, we didn't go very high, the trails were open, the views were, were great, the weather was awesome, awesomely wet. <laughs> Wow, so that was that was quite a day today. A bit wet. Uh, it's great. Left uh, Mar Lodge this morning, just further into the Cairngorms, exploring a couple of the glens along the River Dee. A wee bit riding through the evening, and we got to uh, this uh, lovely gin distillery. Yeah, a few people here tonight. Bowl of hot soup. <laughs> Some nice gin. Not a bad way to uh, to end a great couple of days. Yeah, pretty special.